Hey guys, a while ago I bought a bunch of solar cells from China, mostly out of curiosity to see if they are any good. In this video I'm gonna test them to find out how much power I can realistically get out of them under optimal conditions. I have 5 different solar cells of different voltages and sizes. This one has the highest voltage, it is rated at 18 volts and it promises up to 4.2 watts of power. This cell has a smaller area, it is rated for 5 volts and 1 watt of power. This is a 6 volt cell that delivers up to 4.5 watts, according to the seller. Here is a similar looking cell rated at 5 volts and 4.2 watts. And this is the smallest solar cell that I have, it is rated for 30 milliamps and 5 volts. I actually got a pack of 10 of these. If you have multiple identical solar cells, you can connect them together much like you would connect batteries. You put them in series to get higher voltage and in parallel if you demand more current. Anyway, let's get testing. It's a little after 12 o'clock and we have clear skies today. Let's see what these solar cells can do. For my testing I'm gonna use this dual digital multimeter that measures voltage and current at the same time. One thing about solar cells is that the voltage that you get depends on the connected load. For example, my meter is now reading 20 volts for the 18 volt solar cell, but as soon as I connect a 10 ohm resistor, the voltage drops to just 2 volts. I connected several bigger resistors to the cell. With a 100 ohm resistor and a little bit of aiming at the sun, I was able to get 17.4 volts at 0.18 amps, which was good enough. Next I connected the 5 volt solar cell to several loads. It performed best with a 10 ohm resistor, delivering about half an amp at 5 volts. For the tiny solar cell I had to use a bigger load. The best result I got with a resistance of 200 ohms. 4.9 volts and 20 milliamps. Next in line was the 6 volt solar cell. With a 10 ohm resistor I was able to get over half an amp at 5.8 volts. Finally I tried testing the 5 volt 1 watt cell but the voltage was suspiciously low. I noticed that the voltage changed when I twisted the cell slightly. It didn't look broken, maybe I just got a defective one. Let me show you something very interesting, notice how much the current changes as I cover parts of the solar cell. Even if a small area of the cell is blocked, over half of the power is instantly gone. This is why it is important to clean your solar panels. I also wanted to see how much power I could get if the solar cell is not directly under the sun. Here is the 5 volt solar cell connected to 120 ohms and it's barely giving out 30 milliamps at 4.9 volts. I was expecting to see a drop in the output, but I wasn't expecting to get 16 times less power. Ok, let's summarize. The most power I got out of the 6 volt solar cell and 3.3 watts are enough to power a small radio or charge a small battery. The big 18 volt cell also performed well, but I expected more out of the 5 volt cell. It generates a lot less power than the 6 volt cell even though they have the same area. As expected, the tiny solar cell delivered a very small amount of power, just one tenth of a watt. Overall, it looks like cheap solar cells are usable for simple do-it-yourself projects, but the advertised power ratings are very optimistic, so keep that in mind while shopping. Also, expect to get very little power if your solar panel is not being lit directly by the sun. Alright, I hope you liked this video and learned something new. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and subscribe to never miss any of my future videos.